this is how you can make an advanced bot stats command for your discord.js version 14 bot so let's go ahead and get started before i show you how to do this i'd like to say that if you want to get the source code from this video and other videos on my channel you can do this by joining my channel memberships or buying a discord subscription if you get the super god or custom bot tier on youtube you'll get access to the source code and of course if you get the custom bot tier me and my team will code you a personalized custom discord bot if you get the god or custom bot tier on discord you will also get access to the source code and same with custom bot tier we will code you a personalized custom discord bot if any of this seems interesting to you go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with this and let's go ahead and get into the video all right so to start we're going to go over to community and we're just going to go ahead and create bot stats.js in here we can go ahead and define our slash command builder and a couple of other things so we're going to do const and we're going to do slash command builder we can do embed builder we can do action row builder do button builder and we can do button style then we can do equals require and we're going to get discord.js then we can do module.exports equals we'll open this up we can say data and we're going to need new slash command builder we can go ahead and say name and this is going to be bot stats we can go ahead and say a description and in here we can say gives some bot stats we can add a comma we're going to do async executes we can do interaction and then we can go ahead and open this up one other thing that we are going to get is we're also going to pass in our client here as well because we're going to use that for some data later so we're going to start off by doing const name equals and we're just going to get tutorial bot or whatever the name of your bot is we do const icon equals and in here we can do client dot user dot display avatar url then we can do let server count equals await client dot guilds cache dot reduce and we're gonna do a comma b and then we can do an arrow function here and we can do a plus b dot member count and then we can do comma zero we can also go ahead and remove the space here then we're gonna go ahead and get a couple of other things so we can do let total seconds equals and we'll do client dot uptime slash or forward slash 1000 and then we can do let days equals math dot floor and we'll do total seconds and we can do slash eight six four hundred then we can do let hours equals math dot floor and we're going to get our total seconds and slash three six hundred right in between the days and hours we're just going to go ahead and set a total second value to something else so we're going to do total seconds and then we can do the percent sign and we can do equals and we're just going to say eight six four hundred then right under that we can actually go ahead and copy Copy the same amount of code we're going to put it down here and instead of that number we're going to do three six hundred then right under that we're going to do let minutes equals and then we'll do math floor and we can do total seconds slash 60 and then we can do let seconds equals math floor and we're going to get total seconds and we can do our percentage and we're going to do 60 as well now we can do let uptime equals and we're going to get our days and then we're going to say days then we can get our hours and then we can do comma hours and then we can do our comma and we'll do minutes and we'll say minutes and then we can do an ampersand and then we're going to pass in our seconds and then we can just say seconds so this is the variable that's going to display our uptime with all of that data in it and we can do let ping equals and we'll open this up we can do date dot now and then we can do minus and we'll do interaction dot created timestamp and then we can just do ms just like that now we're going to go ahead and make a couple of buttons here so we can do const row equals new action row builder we can go ahead and add our components we can open this up we're going to do new button builder and then right here we're going to go ahead and set a label and this is going to be our primary server you can make this support server or any discord server affiliated with your bot and then we can go ahead and do set style and this is going to be button style dot link and then we can go ahead and set a url and for me this is just going to be https forward slash forward slash discord.gg coding lounge we're going to actually go ahead and copy this button we can add a comma here we'll put that right here now we're going to change this from primary server to bot invite and you can just go ahead and copy and paste your invite link in here for me it's that now keep in mind you can add as many buttons as you would like you don't have to do this is this optional but i would recommend doing it and you can make this pretty much whatever you want now we can do a const embed equals new embed builder we can go ahead and set a color and this is going to be blue we can go ahead and set an author and we're going to do our name and we're going to get our name variable then we can do icon url and this is going to be our icon variable now we can do set thumbnail and our thumbnail is going to be our icon variable as well then we can do set footer and our footer is going to be text and we can say bot id then we can just go ahead and actually copy and paste our bot id in here this is what i do you can always just get your client id if you would like to do that within a variable but for me i'm just going to put the actual id in then we can set a timestamp now we're going to set some fields so add fields and we can do name and this is going to be server numbers then we can do value and this is going to be client dot guilds dot cash dot size and then we can do comma inline and we're going to make this true we'll do add fields again we can do name and this is going to be server members and we can do value and for our value we can get our server count variable and we're going to make this in line as well so we'll add fields our name is going to be latency and this is basically like our ping 
we can do value and this is going to be our pink variable and we'll set this to inline as well now we're going to do one more so we can do add fields this is going to be name and we'll do uptime and we can do value and we're going to do backslash tick backslash tick backslash tick we'll open this up we're going to say uptime and then we can do the same thing again right outside of that now we're actually going to go in and send this so we can do await interaction dot reply we can do our embeds and we can just go ahead and get our embed and then we're going to do comma components and that is going to be our row just like that with that we are actually done with the bot stats command so we can go ahead and restart the bot and test this out all right so over in the discord server we can actually go ahead and test this out but before i do so if you'd like to get the tutorial bot within your servers to test out my previous and upcoming commands feel free to do that the link will be in the description below so we can actually go ahead and start off by running our bot stats command right here and as you can see here, it's going to go ahead and give us our bot stats. It's going to say the server numbers, and I did mess the spelling up here. For me, that is going to be 95 because that's how many servers my bot is in. Then I do have the ping, but for some reason, it's a negative number in the terminal. But when I host it on my actual bot host, it's a normal number. And then, of course, we have the uptime. So right now, if I were to go ahead and run it again and do bot stats, as you can see, now it's going to go ahead and say one minute, and it's going to say zero seconds. Now, if I were to run it again, now it's going to give me some seconds. So one minute and seven seconds. These buttons are going to work as well. If I were to click that, it's going to bring me to the Discord server. Obviously, I'm already in the server because I own it. But if you were not in it, it would ask you if you want to accept the invite. Over here, if we click the bot invite, it's going to go ahead and open up the actual bot invite. And I can choose what server I want to add it to. So we can try this one more time for good measure to get that timestamp. And as you can see here, it's going to say one minute and 32 seconds. So that's how you can make a boss ass command for Discord.js version 14 bot. If you need any help, go ahead and join the server in the description below and feel free to just join the server anyways it's a pretty good coding community and with that i'll see you guys in the next video